Friday, Friday, Friday. Hey there, DJs. Congrats on making it through the first week of GarageBand class. Uh, we are going to go back to drumming today, but in a brand new way. So let's jump into GarageBand and plus sign to make your brand new song. I still have drums as the front of my screen from the project we did yesterday. If you don't, make sure that you are on tracks. That's the one that's the dark gray at the top and that you can keep scro scrolling your instruments until you see drums. Now yesterday we played around with the beat sequencer. Today we are going to smart drums, which is all the way to the left. So smart drums, here they are. Now I've got a couple options over here. I see kick, snare, claps, hi-hats, cymbals, and shaker. When you add one of these sounds into your board, uh, you've got some options here. So first I can pick the volume. If I want my kick drum to be loud on the bass, I would put it all the way at the top. If you want it to be more quiet, you can go down to the bottom. You've also got a choice of complex, which would mean this rhythm is gonna be uh, kinda complicated. You might hear a lot of sounds in your four beat pattern. Or if you want it to be on the simple side, I'll just go over here. So you can play around with where you put your different sounds. I like that shaker, that's good. And the power button is over on the left side. It's kind of the almost an entire circle with the line down. I'll turn it on again so you can see. And then power off is the same way. Now, I'm gonna let you experiment with different sounds today. So right above the power button where it says hip hop drum machine. That was the default, but that's not your only choice today. So if you click on this one, uh, we've got a couple different things you can go for, and I'm gonna go for the live rock kit. Yeah, rock on. So you can see that gives me some more options like tambourine, toms, and cowbell. Gotta have more cowbell, right? So you fill in your soundboard. You don't have to use everything, this is more. So experiment with different sounds or simple or compact, complex, loud or quiet. You can play around with some different types of drum sets. We're going to record, then rename and share to Google Classroom the same way that we've been doing for the past four days. Um, also, I don't want you to do this one for your project. Uh, you can use it as a starting point, but don't just use the dice and record it and say that you made it, because that's not very honest. Uh, but if you roll the dice down here, they're going to put things in a random spot for you. This might be a good starting point. Maybe I could use this and say, oh, it needs more cowbell. So that dice will get you started. But let's not just use that to turn it in. That can give you some ideas, but of course you make your own. So you've got, let's see, six different styles you can play with. Simple, complex, loud, or quiet sounds. When you've got the one that you like, record it. So I filled in all of my eight beats, which means I can stop. I can hit my songs up in the corner to go back. Tap and hold to rename. The name of this project was Custom Drummer. Or you can always give it a name if you have a name for your song. And then same as always, tap hold, share to Google Classroom. It's a song. Hopefully you're sick of me saying that, but I'll say it every time just for you. Tap on Classroom. We'll turn this into Summer School 2020 Garage Band. And then you're good to go for day five. Have a great weekend, and I will see you next week for some more 